Welcome back everybody. In this video we are going to do a very quick tutorial on how to update Java on Raspbian. Now this is on the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B Plus. Um, I am doing this through a capture card so this is going to be real time. Um, I may have to split the video in a couple places if some stuff takes a little while but it shouldn't take too long. Uh, this is not overclocked so if the web pages seem a little bit sluggish you can blame Chromium for that. That's just kind of the way it is. Um, I'm not going to overclock in this particular case because my Raspberry Pi does not have any uh, aftermarket cooling. It is simply a bare CPU, so I'm not going to risk burning it up just for this. So this is very simple. There was a method posted on the Raspberry Pi forums in response to a post that I made by Neil GL, and he was gracious enough to throw me a method that actually worked. Um, it was pretty straightforward. I had to modify a couple of the commands, but I thank him very much for this, and I will pass this on to you guys. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to download Java. As you can tell, we're already here, but we're going to go back two sets, and I'm going to show you how we got to this little spot here. So to get here, you want to go to java.sun.com. Up at the top here, it's going to say Java SE under top downloads. You can click on that. And then we're going to bypass Java SE 11. We don't want that. We actually want 8, and that's right below it. You can see how jittery this is. So there's update 201 and 202. On the right, hit the download button under JDK. And you'll start off with 201 and its demo and sample section. And below that is 202 and its uh, demos and sample section, which we're not worried about the second part. So here under 202, hit accept license at the top. And then we want the 32-bit hard float. So the 32 hard float ABI. If you left click on this, it'll download that to your downloads folder. Now I've already done this. It's over here on the left. You can see it's already been done. And I'll just show you guys real quick. Make sure I actually hit it this time. So under downloads, we have the file already here at 72.9 megabytes. So we can close this out. We don't need that anymore. And we can actually minimize Chromium completely. Now here are all of the commands that we're gonna be using. This is it. And we can, all, we can put these all in one at a time. So first we're gonna check the version that we have. So I'm going to blow up uh, terminal a little bit so that it's easier for you guys to see. So unfortunately my capture card is making this look a little funky. So first we're going to check version of Java and Java C. So we're currently running 180 update 65 for both Java and Java C. Next we're going to create a folder called user Java or USR Java and change directory directly into that once it's created. So now you can see we're in it and it has been created. Next thing we're going to do is we are going to unpack the file that we downloaded. Now that'll unpack the contents into the folder that we're currently in, which is what it shows here in blue in terminal. So we're going to go ahead and extract all of that. Now this part might take a little while. That depends on your micro SD card, how long this takes. Um, I'm not going to go over in this particular video which card I recommend. Uh, but there are certain cards where I can now run at about 7 megabytes a second uh, average and a peak of about 20. So after this finishes, we are then going to go ahead and update the alternatives, which basically means that we're going to point Java to our new extracted contents, which is in user Java, and we're on 180 update 202 for both Java and Java C. Now, uh, you will notice that I've got one little problem right here, and that is that Java C is wrong there. That's actually Java, not Java C. So, little correction I'm going to do on the fly here. I'm not going to re-record this just for that. So, everything's been done here, and now we're going to go ahead and select this line, all of it, copy, and make sure that this says Java, Java, and Java at the end. Another minor correction is this will be Java C, that will be Java C, and Java C is the end there. And I'm actually going to save that just in case. So let's go ahead and update the alternatives for Java, just like that. And you could just edit that 
uh, each entry for Java to say Java C if you'd like, but I'm going to do copy paste here. Paste, go for Java C. Now instead of copy and paste that last, I can actually just go up in my history like this, and we're gonna to check to see what version is installed. If everything went well, we should be at 202. So we now have Java at version 180 update 202 and Java C also at 180 update 202. There you are guys, very simple tutorial, easy to follow, easy to do, takes just a couple minutes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If it was helpful for you, give that a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe, guys, and I will be sending out some more tutorial videos in the weeks to come as I get some spare time. If you have a request, go ahead and let me know in the comments section, and I will do my best to hopefully uh, get a nice tutorial for you guys on whatever you guys need. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Have a good one. Stay safe.